The first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and duplicate my layer by hitting on Command J. Once I have done that, I can go ahead and rename the layer by simply double clicking on the name layer one and renaming it as a not so smart. And I hit enter. I have to go to the layer at the bottom, the background layer, and unlock it by double clicking on the layer thumbnail and simply going ahead and renaming it as smart. And I hit on OK. Next, I have to convert my smart layer into a smart object. To do that, I go to filter and select convert for smart filters. As you see, a small thumbnail appears on the inside of my image. This way I know that it is a smart object. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and resize my not so smart layer. I'm going to resize my layer by simply hitting on Command T and pressing on Shift to size it down. Now we notice that the size now of the image is 2.92%. I go ahead and I hit Enter. Now I shall go to my Smart layer and resize it as well. I hit on Command T once again, go to the corner, holding on Shift, and resize it down. If we look at the percentage size now, it's at 2%. I go ahead and hit on Enter once again. I'm going to bring back my image to its original size by hitting on Command T now, holding on Shift, I go ahead and bring it back to the normal size. We notice that there's no pixelation. When I want to resize my not smart layer, I'll hit on Command T once again. And notice that the sizing above is now at 100%. This is because when we resize the layer the first time, it loses its dimensions that we brought it down to. As you see, now it is up to 100%. When I resize my layer now and increase it, we notice that there is extreme pixelation going on, which is why we always convert our layers into a smart object.